Day 14 of the YSL Rico trial had some intense moments. Montavious Stevens, aka Slog, takes the stand again and is asked by the prosecutor about the specifics of his plea deal. At one point, she asked what name he calls Thug, and he says this. Um, my brother? Uh, Bruh. This is another very awkward day. The judge yells at a few people for chewing gum and talking. <laughs> he's trying his hardest to act like he's dumb and doesn't know a lot of things, but it's obvious he does. She almost catches him on a lie about the record label versus gang situation. Patreon for bonus videos weekly. Subscriber now. Let's get right into it. Here we go. All right. First look at Thug right here on uh, day 14. Bro's lounging. He must be eating a lot of snacks and candy and shit because that's what his lawyer said he was eating at one point because he definitely has gained probably 20 or 30 pounds in there. Um, straight to work from here yesterday and then I got off at like six, so I'm kind of tired. So when you said yesterday, when you talked about getting permission to travel out of state because you were on foot, what was it that you were on? I was on an ankle monitor. And that ankle monitor, was that the result? What was that the result of? Are you asking me the reason I had an uh, ankle monitor on? <laughs> I'm asking you, what? why did you have to wear an ankle monitor? I had a case pending. <laughs> Bro, it just seems tired today. He said he went to bed at six, so he got like three hours of sleep. Not even that. You had a case pending. Um, yes, I was, yeah. And that was in 2015, right? Yeah, yes. What kind of case was it? <laughs> so, did you have a criminal case pending at that time? Um, I was arrested. Yes, I was arrested, so. And did you have a criminal case pending at that time with anyone in the sport? N no, I, I don't, bro. I don't remember. Do you recall having a criminal case with Shannon Stilwell? Yes. That's someone in the courtroom, remember. That's someone sitting in there. What? Wow, 2015. So is that the pending case that you were wearing the ankle monitor for? No. Did you and Shannon have in the car with you a stolen gun? Yes. The case with Shannon Stilwell with a stolen gun occurred after you all had gone to the compound when Little Wayne was present. When was your birthday? Yeah, April. Yes, that's right. I do know that I can leave the state. What is the point of all this ankle monitor situation right now? I just remember this part that I would not be permitted to travel until the case was over. You called it just now a house arrest monitor. <clears throat> would you explain what you meant by that? So it's a monitor that monitors you? Why did you call it a house arrest monitor? Were you under house arrest? I don't, I don't know if I was up on a house arrest. No, I couldn't have been up on a house arrest. I don't recall no one telling me that I had to stay in the house. I can't tell if this guy's just really tired. How do you not remember if you had house arrest or not seven or eight years ago? And so when you said house arrest monitor a minute ago, you don't know why you said that? No, it's just a term. I don't know. The amount of money that you had to pay to get into the compound? Yes. Where did you get that money from? By it being my birthday, I was receiving gifts in forms of cash from family members, friends, loved ones. Talking about the Lil Wayne show, you had to pay money to get in the show. I think he said it was like a lot. It was a lot of money to get in there for some reason. You and your YSL friends were going to the compound. Did you all communicate with one another? When we was going to the compound? Yes. Yes. How did you all communicate with one another? By mouth. Was that was Were there members of YSL in the car with you? Yes. Who was in the car with you? Um, Shannon Jackson and I think, uh, D. Tell me who to <coughs> tell the jury. You want me to tell his name? Like, do you know his name? I don't want to, like, get him mistaken or not. Was he also known as 30 Deep D? I guess, I guess so. Did you know at the time who 30 Deep was? Did I know who 30 Deep was? Yes, sir. Yes, I heard. And who? Who was 30 feet or what was 30 feet? It was a neighborhood in... Yeah, that's your state? Um, I'm all over rejection. Uh, a, a neighborhood in the South Side community. Was it also a gang? I don't know. They went by being a gang. What neighborhood was 30 feet? Mechanicsville. You call 30 feet a neighborhood. Do you mean that it's a place? Yes. So, based on that, if you wanted to go to the place, where 30D was, would you then say, let's go to 30D? I don't know how people are saying that they'll go, me? I don't know. That's not like no, no, nah, that's not a terminology I would use. I knew the area. That's what it was known out of, the area. They, who is the they that you're referring the to? The 30D that you, um, the 30D. So 30D is a group of people? Yeah. It's a game? I don't know. 
You being real careful about that. I'd be nervous too, talking about other gangs and shit. But Demetri on Darlington was 30. Mm. Was Demetri on Darlington 30. That's what his, that was his Instagram handle. Yes. How often did you associate with Jeffrey Williams? Austin, a lot. Did you also associate with Walter Murphy? Often. How often did you associate with Shannon Stilwell? Often. Now, when you were speaking about on the way to the compound, you talked with YSL members. I never said we had a car conversation that we was going to continue club hopping until to all the club closed. It's my birthday. We celebrate. Were you all at clubs the whole day? Yes. We went to a lot of different clubs. That was like 10 years ago. Did you talk with anyone in particular on the way to the compound? I don't know. While you were in the car with D and Shannon, and incidentally, you said Shannon Jackson. Is Shannon Jackson in the courtroom today? Yes. Would you please tell the jury where he is? In the far back with the uh, brown and the glasses on. Your Honor, if the record would reflect that the witness has identified <clears throat> Shannon still. It shall. Thank you. He's pissed. Wait, why is Doug's lawyer laughing okay. and shaking his head? So, Bro, Shannon I, looks pissed. I mean, he's just identifying that they went to the club together. That don't mean nothing, right? Some people definitely think there's a snitch in now. A rental car? A rental car? Yeah. Who's driving? I will. I don't recall too much talking. I, I, was, I ain't gonna lie. I was smoking weed and drinking liquor. It was my birthday. I was celebrating. Was everybody in the car smoking weed and drinking liquor? I was. And you were the driver? Yes. So um, how did smoking weed and drinking liquor, how did that affect your ability to remember today what happened how did smoking weed and drinking liquor that basically i was vibing listening to music smoking weed and, um and drinking liquor so i don't recall any like exact conversations not exact do you recall any parts of what you all were talking about i don't recall eight years ago uh, uh, okay. what's the basis for re relevance okay uh, okay i'm gonna send the objection so how is it that you remembered the 30 minutes you were in the compound because i'm very familiar with the atlanta area i grew up here i'm born here and I know how much time it takes to get from one place to another. I remember that by being upset about the amount of money that I paid to get in and the length of time that I spent being in the party. And you said you spent $500 to get in? Um, sustained. Yeah, you said he had $500 yesterday. Damn, that's a lot of money for only being in there for 30 minutes. I don't remember how much money I had on me. $500 is a lump sum of money. That's a lot. You can pay a bill with five hundred dollars. I didn't make any plans. I just planned on enjoying myself for the night. Is your inability to recall for any reason in particular? I don't remember everything step by step that happened at night, so no. Do you remember how you got home? Yes. How'd you get home? I drove. What did you drive? The Mercedes Benz. I, I don't remember step by step. That was a long time ago. <clears throat> did you communicate with any other YSL members? Any more than to say the words, I'm about to go into the club. That's the only thing I recall. Did you tell us yesterday whether Jimmy Winfrey was one of the YSL members that went with you to the compound as a group? No. And was Jimmy Winfrey one of the YSL members that went to the compound? He was there, yes. Jimmy Winfrey is this guy right here who uh, got sentenced for 10 years for the shooting of the Lil Wayne tour bus. It was a long time ago. Is that a yes or a no? It was a long time ago, no. I'm sorry? No. So it was a large group. I don't recall everyone who would us from the length of time in the play world. Dude, he's being so careful. I would imagine the jury can see right through this that this guy's lying about a few things and kind of acting dumb. Because we all know he's not this dumb. No, I don't recall from... What time do you like? I don't recall. Do you recall exactly where you went after the compound? I don't recall. I don't know the exact time that it happened, so I don't know where I was. What, did, what do you know about? Other than what I heard and seen... Nothing. What did you see? I seen on the internet, the artist had his bus shot. Did you join up with any other YSL members after you left the compound? I don't recall. Can you tell the jury how it is you recall that you all went to the compound as a group, but don't recall whether you all left together? Okay. No, I cannot explain it to the jury. Is Roscoe the same person known as Kiwi Roscoe? Yes. Did you ever wear any articles of clothing that said free Roscoe? I don't recall. Did you ever see? That's the guy. Pee Wee Roscoe is Jimmy Winfrey, the guy that got arrested for the shooting that I showed you a second ago. He actually got out in 2020, but then got arrested again like six months ago because he was like on the run from this Rico trial, I think. What it was that Roscoe was locked up for when that free, when that free Roscoe merch came out? Are you aware of the free Roscoe merch? He said, you just asked me that and someone said asked and answered for their objection. I don't know. I got I got from the question that you was 
initially talking about the incident. I think she's trying to get the point across that Roscoe was locked up for the shooting. So what I'm asking you is why did you bring up the Little Wayne bus shooting when I was asking you about Roscoe being locked up? Was Roscoe locked up for shooting at the Little Wayne bus? Yes. And Roscoe is a member of YSL, is that right? Yes. Right. And is that the same Roscoe that went to the compound with you all as a group, the YSL as a group? Yes. Right. See, that kind of shows the jury that they went as a group you know kind of as a gang and one of them ended up getting arrested for shooting this bus so what do you think happened like they all probably knew this was going down at some point whereas the whole gang of YSL as big a Lil Wayne fan as you talked about yesterday sure. I stand, I stand, I stand. Yeah. who all was it I, I, I stand, I would you tell the jury what members of YSL that went with you in this group to the compound were actual fans of Lil Wayne let me talk about a couple of but if you see somebody else to rise, you should rise when you make an objection anyway so we can see you. Because Ms. Ms. Weaver can't take down this, and she told you that yesterday. What today is your memory of what you told the jury about why YSL? I'm going to object. Faces. It's a big question. Why is not a person? Overall, sir. He keeps objecting, saying it's vague and it's not a person. He did that yesterday as well. I said he inspired the music career. It's probably so confusing for the jury because she's bringing up how they one of the people on the group shot at his tour bus. But then I think there's been two people now in this trial that have said that Everyone looked up to him. <laughs> that he inspired the music career. Just now, I'm talking. Yes. You just say that you never said anybody was famous. I don't know if I was saying it. Uh, you know, I object to this for Yeah, I hear that as well, so stop it. If you're talking loud, I can hear you as well. Someone talking in the courtroom or something? That's crazy. Well, I often listen to Wayne music. We often listen to Wayne music. Yesterday, I answered that question, but I don't recall the initial thing. Do you remember the year? I don't recall. Do you remember telling the jury? Approximately when it was formed? If I'm not mistaken, I said it. I don't recall. Uh, October 12th, 2014. Why are you talking about it? Yes. Do you remember telling the jury that YSL was founded at least before that date? I, I think I said I don't recall the initial date of it being started. While I'm not asking you the exact date, are you able today to tell the jury whether YSL began before October the 12th, 2014? No, I can't answer that. I don't. Even while looking at an IG post? So you asked me. Him and I, the founders of YSL, so brilliant. Photo about other better one. Posted on October 12, 2014. But I, I stated that I didn't recall. So even looking at that, you don't remember whether YSL was formed. Hold on. What's the basis? Objection. I stated. Does looking at this refresh your memory? Whether it was formed before that date or not? No. Are you able in any way to explain that you can't give them any time frame when YSL was formed? Objection. And She's you. trying to catch him in a lie from yesterday about just when YSL was formed, but... Would you explain how you're able to remember the inspiration for a name and not remember any time frame about when the inspiration came about? No, I can't explain it. She's trying to make him look like he's being vague on certain questions on purpose, which he is. The defendant shall testify truthfully about all matters related to this case upon which he is questioning at any trial or judicial proceeding stemming from the facts alleged in this indictment. Understand that that's what you obligated yourself to do? Yes. Uh, today, as you remember it today, did anyone make you sign this? No. And yesterday you said something about being pressured. He didn't say pressured, he said persuaded. My, my words, if I'm not mistaken, that, that wasn't pressured. I think it was like persuaded. That that person who's doing it, that person who is doing the persuasion, persuaded me that this is in my best interest. Did the court make clear that it had to be your choice and not your attorney's choice? Yes. She's making it very clear that it's his choice in front of the jury. I guess because he pointed out that he only had a day to think about it. So the, I guess she's just trying to make there, make sure there's no doubt in his decision making on doing this. I'm, I'm confused. I'm sorry, I'm confused. Can you just read to yourself? The, did you read, read the document? Well, I kind of feel bad for this guy sometimes, but I mean, he did make some dumb decisions in life to get him in this position, but... I hope that this can answer the question. I've seen this paper, the, the, the 28th and the 29th. I hope they can answer the question. I seen, I seen, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Yes, Mr. Chair, what's your objection? What's your objection? The form of the question is no boundary. I sustain the question. She's having a lot of objections based on the form of the question and leading. And judges sustaining all of them, surprisingly. I mean, we've all seen the judge being a little, you know, seems like he favors the prosecution a little bit, but he's not really giving her any chances. She's doing really bad on direct with this guy, but he is being difficult. The defendant, Young know, Slime, like AKA YSL, is an organization made up of three or more members or associates who share common identifiers that include but are not limited to colors, hand signal. Terminology who have committed crimes and intend to increase the notoriety of credits and reputation of YSL. Okay. And what is number two again? The defendant is one of the founding members of Young Slime. When asked by law enforcement about the defendant's YSL and Rock Crew tattoo, the defendant truthfully advised law enforcement that the defendant is a member of the gang called Rock Crew, but that group is no longer going by that name and now goes by YSL, which originally stood for Young Slime. The defendant is a person referred to as Tick 
In the song by Young Thug entitled Ill, in the verse she getting robbed by Tick. On February 4th, 2021, defendant participated in a group check with fellow YSL founder Jeffrey Williams, aka Young Thug, wherein Jeffrey Williams stated YSL rule the world, kid. Y'all just started bringing me the money. Man, y'all stop playing with me. On May 13th, 2021, defendant participated in a group check with fellow YSL founder Jeffrey Williams, aka Young Thug, and YSL associates Martinez Arnold, Miles Farley, Quantavius Greer, Antonio Summer, and Wendy Lee, wherein Jeffrey Williams asked y'all ain't beat him up, beat him up or shot him yet. Then states y'all getting soft. Y'all ain't beat him up or shot him yet. Y'all getting soft. Thug said that in the group chat. Definitely a bad look for Thug. I mean, you're basically saying like, you should probably go beat him up or shoot him for me. Jury hearing that, definitely not good, but. Gas station at 151 Cleveland Avenue is a location where YSL associates sell drugs. Are your initials next to say another word? Yes. Hold up, bro. That's that's snitching, right? I didn't know he agreed to them selling drugs at the gas station. Well, one of them got arrested for it. But him agreeing that YSL sold drugs there, that's that's kind of snitching, right? Pretty specific. He's just really hammering home this plea agreement that he signed and admitted to everything. In front of the jury, too. You got to think about it, what they're thinking right now. I mean, this is a co-founder of the gang. Like, think about how crazy that is. By putting your initials next to each sentence, what was it that you were meaning to... Confederate. Did anybody read really you with that? Yeah, I agreed to it. That you agreed to it? Yes. Did you mean to convey as well that you agreed with it? Yes. And did you mean to convey that it was a true sentence? Yes. Yeah. Were you or was that any kind of acknowledgement that that sentence was in fact true? Yes. Mm. You're doing a good job of making him look like a snitch instead of asking him specific questions. Just reading the plea agreement kind of works low key. Yesterday I thought it was kind of a Hail Mary because she was doing bad. I mean, she's still doing bad with other questions, but the plea agreement really speaks for itself. That you put your initial next to that you are now saying was not true? No. Did you have an opportunity to speak with your lawyer about these statements before you got into court? Yes. The question you just asked me before the last question, that's the question that I'm, that's the question that me saying that went with. I'm listening to every word and I'm still confused with this question bullshit, dude. He's trying to catch him in lies and it's just not working at all. He actually pays attention to what he answers. I can't remember that fast because due to my being tired, but at the time, that's what I was trying to, that's how I was trying to ask the question. If you can repeat it, I can repeat my answer. But what label was that song that you started? I'm not sure. Now, when you said that you are one of the founders of YSL, would you please tell the jury the name of each founder of YSL as you understand? That works. I answered that yesterday. Could you please answer it for the jury? You know it today. Jeffrey Williams, myself, Trinitary Stevens, and Walter Murphy. At the time, it was a possible record label because. Who is they? When you say at the time, they didn't know. I didn't say they. Okay, I didn't. I said at the time, man. Yeah, I said at the time, we didn't know the heights that the music was going to reach. And when you founded Young Slime Rock along with Jeffrey Williams, is that what you call Mr. Williams? Jeffrey Williams? That's his name. I understand. What do you call him? Call him my brother. What else? Uh, bruh. What else? Old. Bro said my brother and bruh. I think she's trying to fish for thug. What is she trying to fish for? Calling him like certain aliases he has? I don't know. I don't feel like I, I call him young thug. That's what like people don't know him. I call him bruh. My brother. That's how I refer to him. Bruh. My brother. I call him bro my brother. Oh, slime. slime. <laughs> I probably have. His record label stood for. Oh, uh, what is? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. If you were one of the founding members, why did you just refer to the record label as his record label? Because on paper, it's his record label. The groundwork is his. That's something. He built. He honestly seems like a good friend, but I know he's up there on the stand. It's you know could deem snitching in some parts, but for some reason I feel like he's a good guy. But I know he apparently robs women, so he's not. Grand Post referring to you as one of the original founders. Yes. Uh, was anything built that day? I don't understand your question. Oh, uh, she said, was anything built that day of the Instagram post where he said, we we made YSL together? She's trying to say y'all made the gang before the record label, so you're really a gang. Do you acknowledge still today that you're one of the founders of Young Slime Life? Yes. And if you're one of the founders of Young Slime Life, what does that mean if it doesn't mean it's yours too? Oh, uh, he admitted he's the founder of the gang, but not the label. She's kind of getting him a little bit. Did you all incorporate the name in 2013 or 2014? Did you start 2013? Did you incorporate the name Young Slime Life as a record label? I didn't. I don't know. What were your contributions to Young Slime Life as a founder? I didn't contribute anything. Maybe by the reason why I'm not a owner of the gang. I didn't contribute anything. When you say you didn't contribute anything, what is it that you're referring to not contributing anything to? The question that you asked me? 
What did you not contribute anything to? The question that you asked me. Was it the record label belonging to Jeffrey Williams that you did not contribute oh, anything yes, to? Yes. Is it fair to say that the record label that was incorporated is different than the gang that was started when you all created Young Slime? Jeffrey Williams. I stand in Jeffrey Williams' phrase. That was going to be a tough question to answer because she's really separating the record label from the gang side of it, which was clearly started before the record label in 2014, 2015. Positivity and negativity. The, the label that Jeffrey Williams created was based on positivity and <coughs> the gang was negative. And did the gang precede, did, it, did you all form it before Jeffrey Williams started his record label? Myself. It's a music label, so music happened first. That was the approach, music. Was it though? Young Center Life Records was founded in 2016. The song that uh, Thug put out, Ew, where he says that um, Slug robbed women on it, was all released in 2014, and they were already, you know, repping YSL. Something was formed before the record label years before. You just said a whole lot. <laughs> so, whatever you feel like that you didn't get my answer to, I feel like I answered your question to the best of my ability, so if you... Mr. Stevens, you understand counsel's question? No, sir. All right, why don't you just re rephrase the question, madam? Back up two questions. Yes. Do you recall me asking you what your contributions to Young Slime Life were? Yes. And do you recall referring to his record label? Yes. Do you recall my asking you why you referred to his record label? I thought that was the direction your question was going in. I mean, I was like, he's the face of the record label. He's the biggest artist. I don't know what you want me to say. He's the face, all right? It ain't my label. Young Slime Life, the game. And the record label, Jeffrey Williams. Yes. And do you recall answering for the jury that the record label was positivity yes. and that the game was negative? Yes. And is Young Slime Life the game the entity, the thing that you were one of the founding members of? No, I was founding of the music. So I committed crimes while being a part of YSL. So YSL was Young Slime Life? Yes. The game? Just why I said. I'm asking you about Young Slime Life the game. I'm, I'm trying to answer the question. He's falling apart a little bit. So I committed crimes by being a part of YSL. So by me committing crimes by being a part of YSL, that was basis to say that YSL was a game. Because... Wait a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> finished the statement. There's nothing else. It's, it's like if, if he asked to continue his statement, then fine. But sit down and stop interrupting, Mr. Matthews. The judge don't like Mr. Matthews. <laughs> He's yelled at Matthews like three times already. Colors are associated with Young Slime Life. All colors? She needs him to say red and green somehow. Excuse me, Miss Lowe. Madam in the black, get rid of your gum. Remove yourself from my courtroom and get rid of your gum. In the earrings, you. Yes, you. Get rid of your gum. I apologize, Miss Lowe. Hold up. Was someone chomping gum in there? Complete chaos at all times. <laughs> there was people talking today. Now there's someone chomping gum in the back. This guy's trying not to snitch, even though he already agreed to a few questionable things. What does snitching mean to you? It doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm aware of the term. What is the meaning of the term? It doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm aware of the term. Oh my God. How are you aware of the term? I've heard the term indicating that a person is law enforcement or some nature. I heard someone is a snitch. And... Please explain how, in that sentence, snitch refers to law enforcement. I can't. I mean, I've seen movies. That's the direction that the movie was going in. <laughs> Maybe even used the term. Maybe even got it from my like, movie. Yeah. And the way you understand the term, a good thing or a bad thing to be known as a snitch? I really don't fully understand the term. This might be a stopping point at this point. Hold on. All right, the judge is stopping already. It's a half day, but this man just said he really don't understand the term snitch. This man is acting dumb as hell. <laughs> That's pretty much it for today. Awkward, short half day. Dude agreed to a plea agreement where he has to say certain things and he's being vague. He's getting real close to, you know, committing perjury, which would mean he's like lying because if she catches him on a few lies where he already agreed to it in the plea agreement, it could be bad for him because he could get you know, sentenced, the maximum sentence if the DA goes after him. Intense. He'll be back on Monday. There's no court tomorrow, but I'll keep covering the trial over the weekend if there's anything that pops up or the Melly trial. Love you guys. Patreon on the screen for weekly bonus content. Peace out.